few days after consumer inflation rose to a 27-year high of 50.4%, producer inflation has also followed with a rate about 78%. Wholesale prices from manufactured food products plus pharmaceuticals have been spotted as part of the key drivers of this historic rate. Anthony Kakra is head of industrial statistics and he joins us via Zoom to understand what is happening. Um, I want you to help us to understand the difference between the consumer and a producer inflation. All right, so the producer inflation is measures inflation from the perspective of the producer, whilst that of the consumer measures inflation from the perspective of the all consumers. Uh, that's hello, Mr. Kakwa. All right, so Mr. Kakwa is um, head of uh, uh, the inflation statistics at the Ghana Statistical Service is trying to explain to us what this latest figures mean. Uh, Mr. Kaka, uh, thanks for coming back. You were trying to explain to us what th the difference is between the two. Okay, so the consumer inf producer price inflation measures inflation in ex factory prices. So is inflation in the Producer prices, that is the prices that it, at which producers, uh, prices received by producers, and it excludes taxes and distribution costs. While the consumer price, you know, bef between the, be before the, the, these products get to the market, transport costs and all that have to be added, and the margins, the profit of three retailers have to be added. And so at the consumer end, that's the retailer's end, that's what the consumer price me measures. While the producer price inflation measures only at the uh, producer's perspective. Let, let's look at what the drivers are, the drivers of these new rates. What are the key okay. drivers? So, basically, uh, currently, as we speak and as you rightly said, the producer price inflation is 78.1%, uh, uh, which means that comparing a year ago, uh, the producer prices, as financial prices have increased mm -hmm. by 78% over a year, one year now, uh, November to no, this year to November last year. And it has mainly got the increase at the position of the scene we witnessed in November. And so you notice that uh, man mine and query went up about 115%, uh, manufacturing about 84%, and uh, electricity and gas about 34%. So clearly, and transportation and storage were mostly affected, directly affected by the increase in fuel prices and all that in November. That went about 87%. So clearly, we note that the depreciation of the city was one of the main factors that affected the, the ex factory prices to shoot by the, to shoot up to about 78% from the 65.2% that we recorded in October last uh, this year. Mm. What does this mean to December's inflation? Does it give any signal how the year will end uh, in terms of inflation? Yes, um, we have also had a note that the city has begun to appreciate very recently. Uh, the city is appreciating against the dollar. And so we expect that, yes, though we, we may have some, uh, uh, some high levels, but uh, maybe it may come down a little bit uh, around the maybe low 78 percent as we see now if the city continues to appreciate and so with the appreciation if the currency depreciation as i noted earlier was one of the key factors then as the city city appreciates we expect that this may the the, the rate the rate at which the, the the prices are increasing may slow down a little bit though it may be high uh maybe but the rates may not be uh, i we expect we do, we do not expect that it will go beyond the 78 percent in december mr anthony Kakar, i'm grateful for your time he is with the ghana statistical service and he's been trying to break it down for us the latest producer price inflation figures now